Hello, everyone, and welcome in to the Caster Off the Air. Every week, we sit here and on these chairs and couches and break down the episode of the Caster that you just watched. And this week, I'm joined by the host himself, Tom F. Badinger, and Tina. Hi, Res Tina. Hi. How you Hi. doing, guys? <clears throat> I am ex. Well, I'm all right. Can I just say that you can say that baby vampires um, speech was so. It, it, they. Uh, it really got you. Yeah. It got Hindu man, just, too. And I, f- now I feel so bad because I kept stuttering and stuttering and, you know, my, my palms were sweaty and, you know, Don't my knees it. weak. Don't say it. And I did. Don't say it. Just, I feel bad now. I'm glad you didn't say it. Do you remember what you had for lunch that day? Just by happenstance. Uh, Ask him to dab. Spaghetti. Ah, was it made by a family member? Y- you, my mom? you are so okay. This is all there. We go. Know. That's the start of the caster off the air. Well, that we'll, we'll get a little bit more to the main challenge as we go. But I want to mm-hmm. start it off with the mini challenge. And, and Tom, this was a little bit of a different thing. Uh, you have these little. They had these little boards, and they had to kind of storyboard out yeah. how they want to do the patch notes. We actually have a couple lying around the desk here. You've done patch notes a couple times. What, is this something that is helpful, or or one of those things that we just kind of made them do it. Let's say half and half. Okay. Like it, it is, it is worthwhile if you're a visual person to sit there and you have the patch notes and you're like, all right. Cause, so basically, what happens is we get like a stack of pages. Here's the patch what's going on. I'm like, all right, I want to talk about this page first, this page second. And I'll sort of layer it. So this is like a visual way to do it and have fun on the show, right? Um, at least all they had to do was like push pin. If you had to add like glue sticks and stuff, I don't know what would have happened. Well, Gabby would have just crushed it. Even Clearly. more so than she already did. I mean, the, she would have had it color coordinated, oh, you know, man. coded, yeah. all that kind of stuff. It, it does end up Gab- having Gabby be the winner. And, and Tina, what about uh, from your side? How much information did you have going into this? Did you did you know exactly what was going to be happening in the main challenge? Oh, or man. W- what what um, were they telling you? Can I just first thank the person who gave me the patch notes for the game that I actually worked work on because <laughs> I would have been so shit on if like, if I if I got the games that you know I'm not as familiar with so thank you for for, for giving me smite so yeah. they told you that you're gonna be on smite you're gonna be working with one of the caster contestants is that all you knew coming in um yeah so I they just said come on over I don't know who you're gonna be um, paired with yet until I until I got here and then you met you met up with supersonic blur <laughs> i met baby was, vampire yeah weird as you lovingly call him baby vampire uh what <laughs> before the show tom are you all right over there everything <laughs> going okay what was your first interaction like <clears throat> hugging. with supersonic blur hugging that was your very first interaction with him yeah okay right right blur I, he can't hear it, you right oh. now he's not he here. went home he, oh, he lost not, he's I don't know if he's watching or not. He's probably watching. He is, but I don't think you're going to be able to get a response. That's true. He's DMing you right uh, He's probably just yeah. doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but we hugged. Okay. And then and then he was and then he's like, "I'm really excited to work with you." And then I'm like, "I'm really excited too." And then and then I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So, um He was really exciting. He was really excited. Okay, Actually, well, so when Oh, you That was like that wasn't even worth. That was a all bad right, one. All right, okay? all right, no, no, that no, was no, a bad one. No, 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 no. I need a save. You're right. I but see, this is the opposite. Agro's just paying you to swear, and then you leave with extra money for swearing. Oh no, no, no. This is not. This is working out the opposite of how you wanted it to. That is not what this is for. <laughs> oh, trust me. Are you no, sure? No, you are not receiving the money that is in the swear jar. Me and Tina are splitting it. No, this we're is... gonna fight you for it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going <laughs> to run away with a swear jar in a little bit. <laughs> you two on this couch, man. They're watching the episode, we watch it here on set so that we're all, you know, we can talk about it before the show goes live. And these two are just doing exactly what you just saw. The hee 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 giggle at each other anytime they thought something was funny. And we were all laughing at the very opening of your uh, main challenge there with Supersonic Blur. The, the camera starts, you know, you get rolling. How different was it from the get-go than your regular patch notes with Tom or Hindu? Um, well, I don't know. I feel like when it's an, when it's being recorded and not live, it's actually much harder for me. Mm-hmm. I, I actually don't know why. Um, it was also hard because uh, 
there wasn't a lot of people to bounce off of or talk to. It was only one person, and he had a, a special amount of time. Sure. So that also made me really nervous that I didn't want to like interrupt him talking mm. because he is the contestant, and I wanted him to you know do as much as possible, like get all the stuff out, and not have stuff missing from sure. the pet show. It, so. it, and Tom, you you kind of nodded when she said it was harder when it's recorded than when it is live. Yo. There is a difference there, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. We're, we're, I, 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 don't I, oh, I don't even know oh. why I got hit for that. No, I neither thought, do I. I you, you had that. I don't even know why I got hit for that one. But in general, I completely agree. Um, when you... <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna move on. But no, it's because when it's live, it's just sort of like we're hanging out here, yeah. And weird shit happens, and you're just like, oh well, that uh, you know, Wait, that's I don't have how a Tom it goes. swear, jar. yeah, get wrecked. But like, so weird stuff happens, and you're just like, oh well, I mean, I guess that's how it's gonna go. Whereas when it's recorded, you're like, oh, we can can we just redo that again? Like, and there's also that idea of like it's live, it happened, it'll go on. Like when you when you're having a conversation, right, mm -hmm. and you like. Make some and like you're awkward or something. Everybody just ignores it. You go past it. Yeah. When it's recorded, you're like everybody's gonna rewind and look at how weird I was. Yeah. They're just gonna see how weird. But they can I do that am. on Twitch too. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't feel that way. It's just a feel. Thing. It, I just feel like it's more organic. Exactly. Yeah. Like sometimes you know that's stuff just good. <sighs> Less good. We don't we don't pay you to speak, do we? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. Sometimes we do. Whenever she <laughs> j joins the patch notes, don't don't let him say that to you, Tom. You you get your time. Oh, that's, that's Tom now. Crap! Here we go. I get paid to speak. <laughs> this is just what you should. I should have known that this was gonna devolve. <laughs> Tina swears twice, then you swear, and now I'm just I, uh, I'm just. Uh, I do really. want to bring up. I do want to bring up. So when Gabriella Gabriella won the mini challenge and she was able to give everybody their representative partners, right? Mm -hmm. um, when Supersonic Blur, when she was like, "All right, SSB, you're gonna go with Tina." He literally, he was so excited. He literally jumped up and down. Oh, that was Tina. He jumped up and down and then jumped onto Gabriella. And like gave her a big like, yes, I want to work with Tina. Oh, he did ask me for the painting too. He was like, "Can I have your painting that you drew?" I'm like, "Uh, I don't have it anymore." <laughs> and then I felt really bad. But then we hugged, and then it was it and was it better. Got better from yeah. there. What were the other uh, contestants' reactions? Whatever they heard their 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 partners. Um, everybody just kind of just like sweet, you know, everybody was generally, I would say, not as excited as Supersonic Blur was to work with Tina. That was kind of next level, whatever. It was like, oh, what were sweet. their reactions like, pretty cool. to, to that? Like, were they like, oh, shit. Oh, no, everybody was just like, oh, what shit. a weirdo. But oh, like, okay. yeah, I know. It was just kind of like, yeah, I mean, okay, that's, uh, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Ron was actually, uh. Ron, Ron was actually pretty uh, interested to work with Thomas Holt because Ron, I mean, Ron is a, like a character, obviously, but Ron's a very serious artist. Yes. Um, he has like a clothing line. He's writing a book. He's a very serious artist. And Thomas Holt is, uh, you know, you guys like know him as like spoiler man and like see some of the stuff. Thomas is also a very serious artist. Um, one of my, I one of the guys that I got close to at high res early on, uh, just because I respect like the dedication of the work. Mm -hmm. And I think Ron saw that as well and was excited to, maybe not after the fact, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but but like the conversations they had off camera and stuff was really awesome. And I think that that's what Ron was sort of rooting for was like, let me talk to like a real artist. Well, we actually have a, a closer look at their interactions there between Thomas and Ron. So let's take a look at Ron's main challenge. Uh, yeah, I kind of imagine that there would be designer input. The fact that he didn't even want to comment on balance was a little bit challenging just because the practicing it's you just expect a back and forth for every single mark on that patch note torvald that shield even even people in other departments that wouldn't know about the balance of the game know that shield is insane keeping everybody alive keeping the tanks alive keeping the uh, link alive oh my god <laughs> <laughs> You had to do it to him. You had to do it to him. Thomas Holt, though, I've like I said, I, I know Thomas. I've worked with Thomas. So straight up, Thomas is one of the cooler people here. Yeah, we'll absolutely. obviously say that. Uh, honestly, say that uh, we have a lot of stories from Spain that I can't tell. Um, but what's really interesting about Thomas, he 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 knows. He's like, I'm the artist. I am not a balanced guy. So you know, you want to buff the shield and talk about it. And he'll say that to like me on real patch notes. Just like, 
I'm not touching that. Like that's uh, that's not what I do. Um, I will talk to you for 12 days, and he will about <laughs> a statue in the corner of a map that nobody will ever see, and he'll talk about the implication of that on the structure of the ecosystem of a lore that nobody knows but him. But the uh, and the color everything. But like when it comes, you know, he's just like, hey man, that's not my world. Let the people that put the time and effort into their craft, the game designers, let them talk about that. So here, that kind of, you know, gave a little bit of friction to Ron, but that's why he's not saying anything, because that's not his wheelhouse. And do you struggle with that at times too, Tina, when you're on patch notes where, you know, you've got your world, you know, the voice packs and all that kind of stuff, and does it, do you not want to comment on the other things that you aren't a part of, or, or sometimes uh, do you want to get involved in that? <laughs> um, no, actually, I think it's, well, I don't want to say or give anyone false information, Mm -hmm. So I would rather let like people who actually know how to talk about balance and stuff do that, and then I'll talk more about what I do, because I don't want to say anything wrong. <laughs> yeah. But you talk anyway. I do. Well, yeah. I can, I'm like a shit maker upper. I am That's... really good at that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you are. Yeah, and I just want to shout out um, to Pompon for, he had paladins, and he is like Oh, he's such... the hand of the gods. Hand of the gods. Hey, nice catch. Got you. Um, he is such a good bullshitter. He really is. I mean, Bon right? Bon Pon is is a, is a talented. I was man. like, how? I couldn't even do that. Well, that, I, I mean, that's the art of doing sort of, uh, and you know, we're talking about the caster commentary is one thing, but when you're doing that hosting job, when you're rocking that world, that's what you gotta do. Um, and so that's what this challenge was for. But it's also when you look at Gabriella pairing everybody, people like Pon Pon, people like Dry Bear, yeah, I mean, casters too. Yeah. Rory was a caster. Pon Pon like is on patch notes. You're used to being able to Adonis as well. Yeah, ad Adonis adapt right well. real yeah, fast. Adapt and just like honestly like yeah. Honestly, can't think of a better, a better term. I'm going to use Tina's. You bullshit real well. You're able to just cruise on through. Hey, I'm running out of coins, guys. She opened the door, man. Uh, you're able to just cruise on through, whereas Thomas Holt, like, that's not his job. So he's just like, yeah, man, I'll talk about what I know. Here we go. Are you going to? Okay, just hold on to those. Did you just steal Tina's coins? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But it's just, you know, that that's a separate skill that sure. not everybody has. And, and yeah. I, for my money, with Gabriella having the choice of all of those different sort of partners during that main challenge, I think I would have gone with Dry Bear as well. Former caster, you know, is in that design space for oh, Paladins yeah. as well. And you heard Gabriella say, you know, even when as soon as he heard the 30-second call in his ears, he's rapping it for her at the same <laughs> time. So certainly making it easier for her in that regard. Mm -hmm. But let's go towards the people that didn't go quite as well, namely Ron and Supersonic Blur. We saw a little bit of a preview there with Ron. Uh, but, but with Blur, Tina, there were just some moments, even from the short clips that we had, where it just felt a little awkward. Yeah, um, he talked about busting a nut. And uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know how he knew that story, but um, that was right, kind well, of we have to, interesting. That, we have to. That's, and, then, and then when he said that, I was kind of like, you know, like, I, <laughs> bleh, like, what do I say to that? You know what I mean? Like, well... I, I have to ask, uh, are, number one, is this story stream friendly? Yes. Yes. And number two, can we hear it? Because I, I, I would like some context okay. personally. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so this was like two years ago when the um, Apwash Necromancer skin came out. Mm -hmm. Or I was writing the voice script for it. And English is like my third language. So sometimes I don't know some of the idioms. Um, that are like the dirtier ones. <clears throat> so the ones you you want to know. The, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Anyway, yes. Um, so I was writing the script, and a lot of our our good luck lines are already have break a leg, mm -hmm. and since he's a nut guy, he likes to you know break nuts. The, and the stuff. skin. The skin. And if you're unfamiliar, is literally like a holiday. Yeah, nut he's cracker. a he's a holiday. Nut Just cracker. putting that out there. Um, so I was like, man, well, break a nut sounds too close to, you know, break a leg. So what if, you know, you could bust a nut? So I wrote down for the, for the good luck line, bust a nut. Too bad, Tina. And, uh, Kabir at the time, who was our, um, at the time was our Smite producer, actually like randomly read it over. <laughs> like this was like maybe 30 minutes before voice recording where I was actually, the the, the voice actor was actually going to record. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Kabir's like, Tina, <laughs> hold up. Do you know what this means? And I'm like, yeah, man. Like, I made it up. It means good luck. Like, because you're, because you're, <laughs> 
you know, like breaking a leg, like bust a nut, busting a nut. And Kabir was like, no, Tina, that's when a man ejaculates. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, let's, uh, I think we can just safely <laughs> get a handful. <laughs> so that's the, that's the bust a nut story. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now you all know. Okay. The secret's out. I am both glad and sad <laughs> that I asked for context. Uh, I'm just going to move on. I was going to go. Just hard, hard yeah, segment. Yeah, hard, t- hard, hard turn. turn away. <laughs> hard turn. So then comes the judging. And Tom, <laughs> you were you are in there when the judges are deliberating. How w- was it really that close among the winner that oh, they yeah. couldn't decide? I mean, we did a poll in the Twitch chat if you're uh, participating during the actual uh, performance there. And it looks like R- Young Link was the fan favorite on who they think should have won. He got about forty percent of the vote. How did you feel about it? Um, I it was it was interesting, honestly. Like I, so I really like. Um, I mean, no secret. I, I so I'm a fan. I'm a friend of Ron's, so I like his dry sort of con- uh, humor and like how he dealt with Thomas Holt. Just like, yes, I compliments. Thought was, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but obviously, there were some moments there that kind of stutter stepped. I thought Rabies was really intense. Uh, perhaps too intense for like a patch note show, sure. but I liked the way I liked the way that he was he was kind of doing it. Um, John or Young Link, on the other hand, I I think I'll agree with Chat here, but I was close with the I was close with the judges. So like the judges do their own thing, and I just sort of like kind of watch. I definitely wasn't a part of it, but I was just like, yeah, you know, uh, I I'm glad it's not my job because I certainly can't figure it out. Uh, John did a great job, so yeah, ten points to him. This was one that I was glad I wasn't the judge, folks. <laughs> I feel like you've said that every opportunity that you that you have had to say that. The judges definitely had some hard decisions, and it came down to between Ron Jobert and Supersonic Blur. Now, you were a fan of that side, that kind of you know dry sense of humor. Tina, just even watching it on the episode, mm-hmm. how, how would you feel if you were in Tom's position, you know, and, and you were working with Ron? Oh, man. Um... I'm sorry to make you think about working with Ron, number one. I deeply apologize. <laughs> I don't Fallen know, in. actually. I think it would be... Is there a wet humor? Um, that would be me. So, uh, since he's the dry, uh, I don't actually know how that would... I'm really hyper and outgoing. Sure. So, so well, I think me it would Ron just work. like, like not... I don't know. It might be really awkward. But it would be good to see, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh, and I think that it would be in a, a different sort of creation than yes. that sort of pairing. Yes. <laughs> and you and Supersonic Blur kind of, I think we, that's what Blur was trying to go for almost as a sort of jokey back and forth sort of patch notes show. But right. it, for whatever reason, it just didn't seem to mesh well. Um. Well, it might also, I don't know. Like I wasn't, I wasn't as chillaxed as I was as I am now Mm -hmm. Um, I was really nervous so I think that kind of held me back a bit more Mm -hmm. and I wanted to do good I didn't want to you know I didn't want to cuss I didn't want to I wanted to do good more more than because I wanted to help him out but from the outside looking in it's important as a host whether you're interviewing or working with somebody new it's important uh, it's a skill to make right. the person you're working with feel comfortable. Right. Supersonic did not do that. Thomas Holt was comfortable. He just didn't want to talk he about He was comfortable stuff. doing this. You know, <laughs> he, he, was, he was comfortable in that. And yeah. I think you're right. That's a good point to make. And that Ron just kind of accepts that and doesn't try to pull him out of his comfort zone. Right. Mm. And it's just, it's a little bit more difficult whenever neither you nor your partner is feeling very comfortable in that moment. Let's, uh, we actually have another deeper look at Supersonic Blur's main challenge with Tina. Let's take a look. All right, sure, 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 sure. I want to drink oh. some water. Some water? Some water? Mm-hmm. All right, get some water. Some water. Flip the headset! Yo, it's, yo, it's your s jog Joining me today is going to be T-Dog! Yeah! Yeah, boy! We've got a couple skins coming up for you. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Secret Order Ulra skin, which, uh, if we just throw up that card up now, it looks pretty, that's a pretty nice skin right now there. Yeah, I like it. Um, we, uh, um, yeah. Oh, we got a nice, we got blue this time rather than actual gold. Oh, I thought that's that was nice. a chicken. <laughs> you thought it was? Because it was blurry, gonna, I thought it was gonna, like one of those chickens. He's just going to fire, chickens. so yeah. Ulra's now going to fire chickens. <laughs> okay. Who needs axes when you have chickens, right? Poultry <laughs> right. power. 
Yeah. This, this is your specialty, mm. Tina. So, so let's let's have a listen. Let's have a little listen into that voice pack. Okay. Uh, oh man, T yeah. Tina, teen, teens. What are you? You're killing me. You're, you're killing me here. You're killing me, Tina. Why? You, why are we? Why do we have to have these in the game, Tina? It's okay, Mr. Crumpy Pants. Doesn't stop me. <laughs> it's it's fine. Yeah, too bad, Tina. It's never gonna be as bad as the Buster Nut, but but that's not the only skin Wait, we have. Whoa, 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 whoa! I never. How do you know that story? The Buster Nut story? The one coming through from. Uh, come on, everyone knows Buster Nut. It's I'm, fine. All right, all right. It's all right. fine. Let's just, for but yeah, next time. Next well, good job, vampire. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. He did well, didn't he? Is it already? Are we dead? We're like, dead. We're dead already. I mean. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. In terms of the elimination, it's millimeters of difference. Absolute millimeters between every single person. But I gave it my all. There's a lot to work on. I'm glad that I got to do what I did. I'm proud of every single other person in this competition. They all absolutely deserve to be there. As I said in the first one, if I go out, I went out on a high man, and you can be damn sure I'll be coming back. For every single person who's doing what they want to do and they're finding that brick wall, keep going. Please, keep going. You can do this. I know you can, and you know you can. Don't stop just because you find a wall, because so many other people will. Keep going, climb over, because it'll take you to brand new heights, and who knows what's over the other side of that wall. But don't give up, please, don't give up. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you doing all right there, Tina? <laughs> it was so, oh, it's so sad, damn it. No, nah, I mean, uh, <sighs> I don't know, it's, it's, uh, John gets a little over dramatic. But I think uh, there is something to be said about his passion. I think that was really impressive, and uh, it's it's one of those things where you know, in in the moment, he really like caught a bunch of us. Uh, you know, I, I'm hosting over there next to the ca next to the commentators or, or the uh, judges, excuse me. And uh, you know, he he gave off his like big anime speech, and like it was like actually kind of real. I think it was kind of cheesy when he like like stares in the camera, he's like you can go on, but. It did kind of catch us a little bit, for real. Uh, that kid had a lot of passion, and it was cool to see. It broke Hindu Man's stone cold heart. Did you see him? He, he kind of broke up on the desk there. Yeah, it did. I, I'm, I'm I not. Know, I, really I knew. Like I knew someone would get to Hindu at some point. And of course, it's the it's the British kid who, you know, <laughs> goes through the grind. Mm -hmm. Just identifies well with him. And all jokes aside, I, I do think that John's passion is very obvious there, as yeah. you mentioned. And it was very close between him and Ron. I mean, we did another one of those polls mm -hmm. in the Twitch chat during the actual airing of the episode, and most people in the Twitch chat between the two thought that Ron should be going home. I believe it was about 40% for Ron. Yeah. Supersonic Lore with about 28. So very close between those two. But I think that when it comes to the judge's decision of going with Blur instead of Ron, it was more of Ron's willingness to kind of change his style and allow Thomas Holt to do his own instead of the just kind of not working with Tina, you know what I mean? As a and and as a as a host, and I'm sure Golden Boy, Hindu Man, and Kelly, who all do this job, uh, it's very different from commentary. <coughs> as a host, somebody that works with somebody, there was Tina's very easy to work with. You can put on any show you want with this girl, as long as it's not G-rated. Sure, and <laughs> and and John did something specifically to make that show not as smooth as it could have been. Whatever it may be, the comfort level just wasn't there, and that's one of those like advanced judging. Like sure. that's something that a host well, can tell, and that was an issue. It's top five now. You know, yeah. you have to go with those things. I think it's also um, because I'm so used to the people that I that I go on the show with. You know, yeah. meeting uh, Sonic for the first time. It's you just you're just thrown right into it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's hard to have this, you need this connection. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. You need that connection. Yeah, you need that, that hunter and guardian bond. You know what I'm trying to the, say? The dual there needs lane. to be symmetry. Yeah. And, 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 and this. Exactly. Exactly. Well, they didn't have, 
No, yeah, no, no. I mean, like, it's like, like, like this, the right. two hearts. Yes, yes. Together. One. Yeah. Chemistry. Coming together as one. Well, either way, Supersonic Blur ends up going home now with just top four remaining. I can't believe it's already been so quick going through this season. Tina, right. Tom, thank you guys so much for joining me. And yeah, as always, me. guys, we're going to leave you with a bit of a preview as what you can see next week on The Caster. Do the next time on The Caster. So today's challenge is all about casting Smite to an entirely new audience. Welcome, everybody. We are hopping into a game of Smite in which five players will face off against another five players. In this game of Smite, what you want to do is push down those towers. You push pressure in each lane to cause rotations. Right. It's just like when you're trying to do anything. Yeah, maybe my big goal is to get back to that tide and knock down the big dude. You can see that Cuba Fred is in the soul lane. He's getting a lot of pressure for varieties or long. Frankly, I thought you absolutely killed it. You did a great job. You were by far the best at sounding natural and explaining the game to a new level. What a game, man. That game was insane. It was, there was so much agility, so many things happening. Dare I say that play was a little hot wild. Huh? <laughs> I had four points I essentially wanted to hit and you hit all of it. So good job. We have been asking you for so many, you know, challenges now to bring out the personality, and you did it.